folks, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to set a net under the, under the ice. How to set a net under the ice, gill net. We got the holes drilled. Jim Judge here from Fort Vermilion, Averill's father, stepfather. We're gonna attempt to set the net. We'll, we'll put a stick through, we'll, we're gonna drill holes, put a stick through and drill another hole, feed the, feed the string across with a stick and then pull our net through. All right, stay tuned. How many uh how many poles like this? Uh, four or five? Yeah. Up to where we get to there, probably yeah. one, one, two, three, four, five, probably five or six. Well, we have to measure our net on the edge, you know. edge of the river. Yeah, here, eh? You see it? You see it? No? no. Oh, you see it. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Oh, that's cold. Oh, right there. 
Oh, oh yeah, just leave it there. Okay, good. Okay. That's good. Now we we can see the the stick. We'll leave it there, then we'll make another hole and we'll move it. We'll keep moving it. Right there. Water's cold. Continue on. So we'll continue on like that. We'll put that string out and then we'll pull the net through. Educational, the Eskimo augers a must have makes the job a lot easier instead of using a spud bar making a hole and a chainsaw. Don't use a chainsaw and a spud bar, use a auger and a spud bar, chisel. Educational. down there yeah. longer yeah. it'll be out of that way it'll be out of the out of the water yeah oh yeah oh, I see what you mean yeah mm -hmm. you try and... you'll have to look to have to okay, you want to help? We'll get it strung out and we'll have it ready. Here's our net. This is what we're running. Alrighty.
are skins are bulldozer. Uh, get the spot bar ready. We'll have to walk our streets. Yeah, make sure we don't run out. We don't go in there. Oh. <laughs> it should be good. <laughs> Need this. It's good to get rubber boots. Yeah. And uh, boots yeah. with uh, rubber boots and in winter rubber boots. You hit overflow, you have rubber boots. Oh, there it is. Look from that way, there. We started from over there, all the way this way. One, two, three, and this way here. A couple more holes will be done. I don't see that stick yet. I don't see it. We're getting her done, folks. We're, we're cold and wet, and we got a bit of an overflow. We got some boots. Now we can walk in the water. Get her done. That's about a couple more holes, we'll have it done. Put this through. Throw your shovel when you get it in. Pull your string out so you don't lose it. Like we did. Pass your shovel, dude. This one I used to be on. Stay over here. Watch there, too. Oh. Okay. Okay, careful. Alrighty. Whoa. Can you see it? Not yet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, let go. Let go. Let go. Okay. Okay. We're still in the last hole. Still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. Eight holes. <laughs>
did a good job. We're working hard. We're, we drilled eight holes, so we're going to put our net through and two sticks on the edge. Hopefully we catch some fish so we, you can uh, watch. Just trying to be ourselves and create good content that people like to see. Please subscribe to Outdoors' mic. We'll keep it going here for you. And encourage us, and encourage us to film more. Thank you. We're continuing on. Okay, folks, it's getting dark. We're getting it. We're getting her done. Find the net. We're going to pull through. Jim's on the other side. It's ready to pull. Okay, pull. Whoa. Okay. Alrighty. We're net going in, folks. Very cold. It was cold. We we yeah, push. Lots of overflow. Oh, hang on, Jim. Oh, oh, wrong way again. Everything's a limit. The limits are all against us. Okay. Pull. Huh? Yeah. This way too. Keep it on here, the net. The net going in. Get me in footage. We worked hard, folks. We got wet. It's cold. Kept getting dry, dry enough. Finally, the net's going in. Good. Okay, good. Okay, come on this side. We tied this side on. I tied it to the bottom. Okay, pull. Pull hard. Hard. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Right there, folks. Top center. Going top around here. You put that, you, you do the net at the bottom, you tie it. So your net's at the bottom, doesn't freeze. You put it on top, the net will freeze. You can't get the net out. So at the ends of the net, you you tie a, you, you, you put the net together so it'll be at the bottom. Your nets will come up like this. In the middle, all the way, it'll be, it'll be like that. But at the end, you'll tie it together and at the bottom of the stick, always at the bottom. At the ends, you always anchor it to the bottom. So your net doesn't get stuck. It's cold around here, it freezes, so you gotta have it at the bottom. Okay, we'll head to this way. Cut. Okay, our net's too long, we're gonna cut it too short. Okay, I did this. Come on your net, so you don't lose it. Tie your net together. Right there. Now we'll push it to the bottom. Put 
this in the middle. There. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll check our catch tomorrow. Um, thank you to Jim Judd and thank you for Tam May Gambler she, uh, for filming. And we got in the net, there was overflow. We managed to get it in. Looks, looks very messy. Yeah. All right, well, check our catch. We got the net in before dark. Thank you. at the bottom doesn't freeze you put it on top the net will freeze you can't get the net out so at the ends of the net you you tie a you 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 put the net together so it'll be at the bottom your nets will come up like this in the middle all the way it'll be it'll be like that but at the end you'll tie it together and at the bottom of the stick always at the bottom at the ends you always anchor it to the bottom so your net doesn't get stuck. It's cold around here, it freezes, so you gotta have it at the bottom. Okay, we'll head to this way. Cut.